Still, just if you get if you get fucking caught by one, just immediately curl up into more fall and spam bomb. Because even if yeah. you do like wiggle around a bit because it's damaging you, it'll still it'll usually just be close enough to fucking get rid of it anyway. There we go. Yeah, I'm still like I, I still prefer the um because I was just trying it out. God damn those fucking There's a name for them. I don't remember what, but they're fucking obnoxious. Just like this Metroid. You mean the fire Cheerios? Yeah, the the yeah. deadly energy Cheerios. <laughs> I know there's a name for them, but I'm ninety I'm ninety nine percent sure that everybody just calls them fire Cheerios. Fire Cheerios <laughs> yeah. or energy Cheerios or the spaghettios. Yeah, the spaghettios. Yeah, the spaghettios. Uh -oh. <sighs> a whole new definition of uh oh spaghettios. Because they're everywhere <laughs> and they're fucking annoying. Hey, that's what that's a semi said to me. <laughs> <sighs> Flaming Hot Cheerios, the cousin of Flaming Hot Cheetah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, the fucking wow. hot Funyuns. Onion rings. Oh, dude, I Holy love Funyuns. Shit, it's 7 a.m. <laughs> wow, it's you were up until morning, huh? Or 1.13 a.m., so. <laughs> Look at, you guys dragged me into 7 a.m. for this stream. Holy shit. When did we start? Well, we're getting close to the end of the game, so. Yeah. yeah it's oh. almost over. This was a fun once stream. You see, once you see the fire Cheerios, you're like, okay, yeah, I'm about 20 minutes from finishing. Yep. Uh, depending here, on, okay, depending so, on how your play style is, if you're trying to fucking speed run this shit, if if you fucking see the fire Cheerios, I'm like, okay, it's about five minutes from being over. <laughs> okay, so what follows here, this is actually one of the most like emotional like moments. Like you don't have any di like need any dialogue. You just get the sense of it. Scripted events. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh shit, it's a big ass fucking Metroid. This surprise. No people. dialogue. It's no just no cutscenes, just ah, gamers. Get off the... me! Get off me! No! Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> just give it a minute. Oh fuck. Ugh. Fucking the just... Metroid big chunk is right there. Holy crap. Oh, and by the way, uh that's still a baby. Well, yeah, way to give spoilers. That... I don't. I mean, honestly, that doesn't bother me. I don't. First off, this game is fucking ancient, so if you don't know the fucking fact that this is a fucking baby Metroid, that's on you. And Second it's... off, it's not really a spoiler because, yeah, it still holds the shape of a baby. If it was grown, it would be. Oh, gamer girl, shut the hell up. <laughs> it would have been a fucking evolved fucking Metroid. It would have been a fucking Alpha Metroid or a Beta Metroid or a Hunter Metroid from the fucking Prime series. Hunter Metroids were a lot of fun. And also, to make it more emotional, that's the baby you rescued from Metroid 2. Yeah, no, there's a, there's a personal weight to it. But, like, it just runs away. Like, no, come back! Come back! Come back. I'm still alive! Come back, my child. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Because this is what I love about this uh, this game. Like you had one like incredibly intense fight uh, battle with Ridley, but you get another one that's very emotionally driven. I mean, it's it's easy as hell, but it's still like it definitely kicks you in the feels. It does. Damn it. There's just ah, oh, I love the mechanics. I love the controls, the world and the how it's all designed. It's it's nearly perfect. And how it ends, it's just like, it makes the journey worth it, it makes everything feel so rewarding. Just the overall also, if experience. That was, if that was the Metroid baby from before, why did it just try to freaking yeet the life force out of you? It didn't know at first. It didn't. It didn't recognize Samus at first. If it was trying to yeet the life force out of you, it would have killed you. Because it uh, easily yeah. could have. Yeah. But it realized, oh wait, that's... Oh, wait a minute. That's mommy! I know this bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to describe it. Yeah. Wait a minute, this is the lady that saved me. Never oh, mind. God. Wait a minute, this bitch fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I Basically. assume now you're gonna have to kill this one. <sighs> no. No, oh, just, okay. Oh. Oh, okay, logic, if you don't know the lore, 
just watch and see what happens. It gets emotional. Oh, uh, you're going to see in a second. Oh, yeah, you're, you're in for a it. treat. Anybody else who hasn't played this game, I will tell you this much. I still recommend the game, but it's still worth watching the ending regardless. I agree. My hype levels are sufficient. Oh, hey, blah, 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 the, the brain. <laughs> ah, just like old times, <laughs> take on the fucking mother brain. Just shoot it apart. Dealing with these uh. annoying energy Cheerios. You know, an idle awesome. brain in a jar throwing random shit at you while seeming kind of quiet and idle at best. Uh, uh, wait, wait, the there we go. Control. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. Here comes, like, uh, mother brain is all destroyed. Or is it? This is like one of the most disturbing cutscenes from this game. Oh shit, here it comes. Here, here, comes, here comes the mother brain. Now it's in this big... Tough thing. What the fuck is that? It's in this Tyrannosaurus Rex body. Yeah, right. It's like what the flip. And the music is, is so that? perfect. It's like. Dee, dee. Yeah, the music is so disorienting and disturbing, but it's fitting for this boss. Ugh. And it starts. Oh hey, it knows I'm only horse. Yeah, I remember this. I was like, good God, what the. F Flippin' heck! That's what it really Mother looks Brain like? Mother Brain must have trained with the Greybeards. <laughs> That's what its real form is? Good God, it's more uglier than ever! <laughs> yeah, like what Magical Star said. It looks like a flippin' zombie! It's a, it's a Tyrannosaur uh, zombie. <laughs> also, I'd like to point out that power bombs, which are your most powerful weapon, easily does not do, do absolutely shit. nothing. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that, because I see they that they're absolutely worthless in this fight. Ow! Fuck! They do diddly squat. Huh. Like, I'd like to point out that power bombs are basically... Ah, oh, shit. They, they no! So no! Funny. Here it comes! Ah! And they do fucking nothing. Oh god, this scene. Ooh. Samus, get up! Scene. Get up! Oh, oh shit! Oh no! And then... Just give it oh, a minute. My. I love how you're all seeing this and reacting to it, and I'm just like, oh, I'll get there eventually. I'll I'm get fit. there eventually. Oh. No. No. And then. Boom. This scene made me cry. I'm not going to lie. This scene made me just, cry yeah. when I saw this. Yeah, Jesse, oh, let, let logic right. discover this. Yes. So... Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. The baby yeah. metric comes to the rescue. Giving him the suck. <laughs> Just suck it dry. Isn't Mother Brain connected suck. to the Metroids? No. I'm all suck I... the no. soul out of you. No, no, the Mother Brain is connected to space pirates who've been trying to uh, take control of the Metroids. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So now you see what the Metroid's doing? Duh. Yeah, because the oh. space pilots are, are, oh, shit. are smart enough to sit there and say, Oh, yes, I'm going to take oh, these biological shit. abominations, and I'm going to try and weaponize no. them. No. Oh. Baby Metroid, stop! Just fly away. Hey. No! Yeah, like I said, I cried at this. I didn't cry. You know why? Because of the thing that happened two seconds You later. bastard! Wait, what? Yep. The baby took It gave hit. its life saving Samus. Yep. And now You know what Samus else it gave you? The the kick ass beam. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> the dick beam. The rainbow beam. Shove it in your the fucking game mouth hole. Beam. Oh yeah. Oh that fucking crying sound that the mother brain <laughs> makes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, I'll bet it fucking hurts you asshole. I fucking searched all over the goddamn planet just to find that thing, and here you come, killing it. It's okay, because thought... I'm gonna kill you. Yep. I thought you had to kill Metroids in a really specific way. Well, there's a whole... You have to freeze them and use missiles on them. Now, I had to escape that the planet. Is... That is technically the most efficient way to do it. However, you can just kill them through sheer force as well. Ah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Die, you mother 
brave fucker! Oh yeah, and on top of that, you have to escape the planet. It's just fucking epic. Oh, I'd like Here to point out also, boat. like another thing is with these little bursts of steam, they don't actually do any damage, and I wondered what the fuck the point of them was if they didn't. It's do supposed any to damage. distract you, or it's supposed to it's hold you back. Yeah. It's supposed to keep you from using the speed booster, so you can't just shine spark out of there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I realized. I'm like, wow, that's actually fucking brilliant. Wait, so how does that work? What do you mean? Um, like, it's meant, you said it's meant to stop you from using the speed boost thing. The speed booster... It would have been used like crazy to evacuate the planet. It, it works off of momentum. You have to run a certain amount of distance before it actually activates. But since you're yeah. getting stunned, you, you're not able to do it in time. Oh, yeah. I get it now. That's big case. No! Damn it! Because Come on! People that have... People that have discovered the tech would have realized, oh, I can just shine spark the fuck out of here. Uh, yes, die. Morpheus, I'll oh. make sure the animals are saved. I have plenty of time. Don't you worry. Yeah, really. yep. If ah. you have 30 seconds, you have time to save the animals. If you don't, you're a heartless piece of shit. Yeah. You are the worst human being. Oh, yeah. And now, like, you'll notice a tiny little Easter egg when you do it. A little speck yep. flies across the explosion. Yeah. Also, I'd like go. to point out that that ending where you save the animals is actually considered canon. Yeah, and it actually because, guess, because in Metroid because Fusion. Guess what happens in Metroid Fusion? Oh yeah. Yep. Guess who fucking comes and saves you there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember. I remember watching a game theory video about all the shit with the animals. And. Something to do with the. Here we um, go. Okay, Morpheus, I'm saving the animals. Some kind of virus that the Metroids would. Come on, come on, come on. Less than a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You idiot! Get out of here. Yeah. Go, Golden. Run, go, my minions. Go. Run. Go. Ooh. Be free. What are you standing there for? Run. Just fucking go. Thank go. you. Big moron, get out of here. <laughs> exactly. Run. Get the fuck out of here. You want to die? I would argue that the moment you've opened the way, pretty much gotta go fast. Gonna escape anyway. Damn it! Come on, get up there. I love that the game like, gives you plenty of time to escape. Like, like, like I said, if you have fucking thirty seconds, you have time to save the animals. Yeah. Ow! Oh, yeah. Ow. Fucking steam. In the process, there we go. There it is. That's it. That's it. Just okay. Sit back and watch the rest unfold. So. Yay! After all this shit that happened with the baby Metroid and Mother Brain, after you escape the planet, here we go. This is like fucking alien shit. It is. Mm hmm. I mean, oh, yeah. it is alien shit. You're on an alien planet killing fucking aliens, so. I, that's not what I was referencing, but yeah. goddammit. I'm well aware of that fact, but you said <laughs> alien, so I had to make the fucking joke. Well, regardless, that fucking explosion gives fucking Michael Bay a run for his money. And if you look carefully... <laughs> and... If you look immediately to the right... There it is! There it, it made it! Woo! The operation was completed successfully. And that's Yay. it. It goes straight to the credits. That is Super Yay. Metroid. This... this along with the rest of the game design and everything, is why it's pretty much my favorite game of all time. I love it so much. It has just, like, the the soundtrack is just pure ambience and atmosphere. The level design is brilliantly designed. Like, you can sequence break, you can do so much shit with it, but at the same time, it's designed in a way that's very guideful without having to hold your hand. It encourages you to do so many crazy shit that it would... You know, sequence break. And if you beat the game under three hours, well, I think I've explained that shit before. But just everything about this game is perfect. Well, okay, I'm not going to say that it's perfect, but everything works. I love just yeah. every spec of it. Uh, the jump mechanic, or the wall jump mechanic, it's kind of difficult to work with. That's, that's my one gripe about it, is that the wall jump is fucking hard to pull off. Yeah. Like, unnecessarily yeah. hard. I'm guessing, I guess they did that for a subtlety way, just to encourage people to explore with controls and try to get the hang of it. 
Uh, the other gripe that I have is that before um, encountering Mother Brain, there's a reason why I didn't save over there. Because if you do that, you're stuck in Mother Brain. You can't explore the rest of the place in 100% the game. Oh. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, it's the, it was literally designed to trick you, so that way it would encourage you to replay the game again. Which, in and of itself, the replay value is great. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> yes, oh, Magical Star, you can see how great the game is. Yeah. I love how when you were talking about how the game was perfect, but how it's technically not perfect, you were basically like I meant, pirate captain. I didn't. I, can, I didn't mean to say perfect. It's just that I no, love no, everything. No, Go ahead. I know. I know what you mean, but I think it's funny how you were basically recreating that pirate captain meme, where it's just like, yes, but but no. <laughs> well, yeah, but actually, no. <laughs> I didn't keep track on uh, what the, uh, the 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 length of the game or how long it took for me to beat it. It'll okay, tell me in a bit. Three hours and seven minutes. Dang. <laughs> You're right for collecting items. Seventy-four percent. See you the next mission. Well, that actually gives you a thumbs up. Freaking does a backflip and then shoots. Well, like I said, if you beat the game under three hours, um, her uh, her entire suit is off. Yeah. Hot. I love what Red Gamer said. <laughs> Golden, you just completed your favorite game of all time. What are you gonna do next? <laughs> so, um, so um. Sometime next week, whatever day I'll try to make, because the 4th of July is on a Thursday, and that's when I would normally stream next. Yeah. Um, but the next game I'm going to take on is Metroid Fusion, and oh boy, oh boy. that one's going to be quite a, a wild ride. Which one is Metroid? <laughs> Metroid Fusion is... Metroid Fusion is still 2D? What? Is that one a 3D Yeah, one? it's 2D. Yeah, it's still it's 2D. It was out on the Game Boy Advance. Um, I'm not going to say yeah. too much about it, but... Um, as I go to the post show, I just want to say for everybody who participated to this one, thank you very much. Um, I was very happy with how the stream turned out. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys are ready for the next time I stream when I take on Metroid Fusion. So, with that being said, see you the next mission. That's how I'm going to end it. Yee. Fuck you. See you.